Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. This is Ashang David, and in today's video, we are going to talk about Maven, and we are going to see the installation of Maven. How you can install Maven in your system? If we talk about what is Maven, Maven is a popular open source build tool that the Apache Group has developed for building, publishing, and deploying several projects. Maven is written in Java and it is used to create projects written in C Sharp, Scala, Ruby and so on. Also, the tool is used to build and manage any Java based project. So it simplifies the day to day work of a Java developer and helps them with various tasks. Now, if we talk about what are the uses of Maven? So as I told you just now, Maven is a build tool. Basically, when you create a project in Java, you have to download some set of jar files that acts as a dependency in your project. So see, the thing is that there are multiple jar files and there you manually have to download jar files one by one. Instead of doing that, Maven can do it for you. So the most popular use of Maven is that Maven is used for adding set of jars to a Java project. When you are creating any project, we need to manually download those multiple jar files and their dependency jars and configure them manually to build path. So here Maven acts as a tool which helps us to download all the jar files. Also, it is used to create the right project structure. So deciding and creating the right project structure is very important because sometimes because of wrong project structure, the project won't get executed. So this is where Maven is helpful to us. Then building and deploying is also one thing that Maven does just like Jenkins. Jenkins is a build tool. Here Maven is also a build tool like that where Maven can be used for building and deploying the projects where we have to manually build and deploy the projects for it to work. So that's all about Maven introduction guys. Let us see how you can install Maven in your system. So to install Maven in your system, first you need to go to your Google Chrome or whatever browser you have. In that you go to Google and in Google you need to search for Maven download. And once you search for Maven download, there you go, you have this first link available to you, download Apache Maven. So you click onto this and this will open up the website, official website for Apache Maven. So here in this, you are seeing this binary zip archive. This binary zip archive, we need to download it for Windows. Now, because we are using Windows, it is a Windows 11. So we are going to download for binary zip archive, which is for Windows. If you see this first option, binary tar.gz archive, this is when you have a Mac laptop or an Apple device. So at that time you use tar.gz. Here in case of Windows, you will use this. So I'm going to download it by just clicking onto this link here and it is asking me where it we need to download it. So I'm going to download it in my desktop only. I'll save it. And there you go, you have your Maven downloaded. Now I'll minimize this and I'll go to this. If I double click and open for if you are a Windows 11 user, that zip file will directly open by you can just directly double click and open it. If you have Windows 10, then you would require a zip archive software such as WinRAR so that you can extract it. So here in this case, because we have to extract Maven here, you can do a right click and you can go to extract all or if you have WinRAR installed, you can just go to WinRAR and you can just say extract files. So I'm going to extract my files like this and it is asking me where we need to extract it. So here I'm going to extract it on my desktop. So here let's extract that. And there you go. I have extracted this. Apache Maven on my desktop. So this is the folder that I've got. Now I can just keep this folder anywhere in my system. Wherever you want to install Maven, you can just directly copy paste this folder wherever you want to install Maven in. Now I am going to keep it in my C drive. So I'll just copy this folder. I'll right click. I'll copy it. I'll go to my drive here in my C drive. I can just paste this here anywhere you want to paste this. You can paste it wherever. It doesn't matter. It's in the C drive or D drive. 
you can just paste it there and uh, here you have you double click and open it and this is going to be your root directory for your maven here in this case we need to copy this path and we need to set up the environment variable for maven as well so see i told you that maven is used for uh, java projects right so in, before you install maven you have to install java as well so java installation is already there i'll give the link in the description below and let us check that if java is installed in our system or not so i'm going to open up cmd so let me open up my cmd and there you go we have opened up our cmd now i'll write here java space type dash dash version i'll click enter and you can see that java 18.0.1.1 is already installed in my system so now i can install maven but right now, as you saw that we just copy pasted that Maven folder into our C drive. So here, if you want to check that Maven is properly installed in our system or not, we just write here MVN space dash dash version. Now it should say that a Maven is not recognized. So I'll press enter and you can see that MVN is not recognized as an internal or external command because we just pasted it into our C drive, but we have not done our environment variable setup. So let us do that quickly. I'll right click on this PC, I'll go to properties and here once this window opens up, I will click on to this advanced system setting. Now this is Windows 11 guys, if you are having Windows 10, then you can just find it somewhere around here on the right hand side of the screen. So here for Windows 11, it is right here in advanced system settings, you click on to advanced system setting, this is going to open up your system properties. Uh, dialog box here you will find environment variables you click on to environment variable and this should open up this environment variable window so the very first thing that you want to do is in the system variable we will be doing everything inside our system variable only not inside our user variable so here inside a system variable i will create a new variable called as maven underscore home now guys, make sure that it should be all in capital letters, okay? Maven underscore home. You have to write exactly how I am writing. Otherwise, Maven will not work in your system. All right. So now after Maven underscore home, I need to give the variable value. Now, what is this variable value? Just now we have copied this folder Apache Maven into our C drive, right? So I'm going to just open that folder, Maven Apache folder, and then I'm going to just copy the root directory of this main Maven folder. How you can do that? You can just directly click somewhere around here in the address bar. It would change this into the, uh, the path. You copy that path. You go back to your environment variable window and you paste that path here. So Maven home will contain the exact root directory of that Apache Maven folder. You press OK and here we have Maven home ready. Now another variable that we need to set up is M2 home. Why we are doing this? Most of the other YouTube videos you won't find this. Why? Because they are installing it for other purposes like in general but here we are talking uh, specifically about the java projects and the jar files where it is going to get downloaded so the thing is that for future proofing and all the things you can just click on to new and you can just create one more variable called m2 underscore home and same path that you have copied for maven home you have to paste it here okay this is the step that other youtubers won't tell you so this is the thing which is going to help you later on okay so maven home you need to maven home you need to create and m2 home you need to create and in both the variables same path value will be present which is this the root directory press ok and there you go we have another m2 home so there you go guys we have installed maven half we are on the way we next thing that you need to do is that we are going to search for path variable here you just select this and press on to edit now in this you need to copy the path of the bin folder which is already there in the root directory of maven so i'll double click and go to my bin folder i'm going to copy the path for the bin folder which is inside our apache maven home folder i'll copy that i'll go back to the edit environment variable window and i have to create a new path here i'll 
paste it here and I'll paste the path of the bin folder inside our path variable. I'll press OK and there you go. Now we have properly and successfully installed Maven in our system. So there were three main steps. First, create Maven home. Then you create M2 home. Now both of these will have exactly the same path. Now next step was to create the bin folders path inside our path variable. Once you are done with that, press OK. Properly press OK. Don't press cancel. Otherwise, the whole steps, all the steps that you did till now will be reversed. So make sure you properly press apply and then OK. Once you do that, we have successfully installed Maven and you can close everything. Let's go back to our CMD. Let's restart this CMD again so that it's refreshed. And I'm just going to open up my CMD. So let us search for MVN space dash dash version and I'll press OK and you can see that Apache Maven 3.8.9 is successfully installed. It is recognizing by your system and there you go. This is how you install Maven properly in your system. So I hope you have liked this video guys. I hope that you have understood this video as well. If you have any doubts related to this video, please drop us comment below in the comment section and we'll try to help you as soon as possible. That's it for this video guys and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel Codos Arcade. Also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. That's it guys. This is it for this video guys. This is Ashang David signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.